Mark, can you explain to me why it is so important to make AI more accessible? Yeah, so for us, we believe that AI has the power to kind of bridge the digital divide for people. Mm -hmm. And MediaTek has been in the technology business to democratize technology and bring this technology to everyone. And AI can basically benefit, you know, the whole of the population. Everything from education, where you have AI in your laptops, to business productivity, where you can basically make PowerPoints or new video files uh, using AI. And then also, um, you know, we talk about bridging everybody together, right? So person to person and bridging everybody to the whole of um, humankind's knowledge. And specifically, what is MediaTek doing to make AI more accessible? Our chipsets are very highly integrated, very highly optimized. And so we've got our CPUs and GPUs, and now we have this neural processor. And that neural processor, we're putting into our chipsets and optimizing for performance, for power consumption, and also for cost. And when we bring these costs down and we put these into these smaller packages, then we can democratize that and bring it to everybody. Yeah, definitely. The, the other thing MediaTek is doing is we have a separate entity within the company, a separate unit called MediaTek Research. That's part of our like advanced research uh, organization. So this is a an, an organization staffed with AI researchers who are really kind of pushing the, the, the forward, the, the core R&D, the core investment in looking at new um, AI applications and new AI technologies, right? So really pushing the boundaries of, of what's possible in the research field and making that available as well, working with universities, publishing papers, um, you know, providing a lot of that information out there. Well, now I'm curious, are there any specific notable projects that MediaTek Research has been working on? Yeah, there's a few. One of them that's, I think, quite exciting is we've um, trained and open sourced the first large language model focused on English and traditional Chinese, which of course is the, the cool. Chinese language used in the Taiwan, where our headquarters are, are based. So that was uh, work that they did, trained by uh, MediaTek and then, and then made available um, externally. The team is also working on lots of different aspects of, of AI. We are a large communication company, wireless technologies are very important to us. You know, one very important thing that Mark can probably talk more knowledgeably about than me is the channel modeling for a wireless signal. So basically using AI techniques to really enhance and improve our, our, our modeling and, and analysis of those channels, which can of course make the communications uh, faster, more efficient, more um, exactly. So that, that's another cool area that sort of applies internally to MediaTek as well as using AI techniques to improve the chip design and the chip layout uh, functions for our complicated SOC. So we're finding use cases inside the company and, and outside the company for some of this AI technology. Well, I'm a huge nerd and you mentioned channels in terms of wireless and uh, I know all about frequencies and channel hopping and everything like that. So tell me more, I'm very curious. <laughs> oh, okay. So, <laughs> I mean, we'll go through the channel model. You can do everything from your basic white noise um, to uh, things like uh, phase shifting, right? Yeah. Um, and propagation effects through the through the air. And so for the different channels, um, you know, you can, and different frequency has different channel effects in, right. in the air. So we can model all that now with AI. And it used to take, you know, one, a couple of engineers, you know, umpteenth time to, to do this. And now with the AI models, you can just run them overnight or you can have the AI to generate the models themselves so that our, our engineering force can scale much bigger and do yeah. more things. 